From the grocery store to the gas pump, Americans everywhere have felt the impact of inflation. And while inflation improves, the impact of vehicle prices has stuck around. I went in depth with those in the industry to explain why sale prices are high and what you can expect buying a vehicle in the months to come. From the pandemic to semiconductor shortages, there are many reasons beyond inflation that the price of vehicles has gone up. But as inflation begins to subside, the price of vehicles hasn't. We used to be able to project how much we would sell, um, and those numbers have gone out the window. So we're just trying to stay afloat at this point. <laughs> Dana Hanna is the general sales manager at Benton Nissan of Bessemer. They have 150 new and used vehicles on their lot. She says new, lower-priced models under $20,000 are difficult and in some cases simply impossible to find. But a lot of our customers, they want to be able to use all of their apps on their phones and uh, to be able to have parking assist and lane departure, and that's going to come with some of the higher-end models. For many, the numbers are still simply higher than they're willing to go. Copilot reports the average price of a new car, $51,000. It's a tough statement to make to people that realize that they're going to have a pretty big payment moving forward. Tyler Robbins serves as marketing director for Donahue Auto. His statement also begs an important question. Tyler, are we ever going to get back to that point? Uh, I don't know. I really don't. Um, kind of depends on global supply chains. If things become cheaper, raw metal goes back down. Uh, I know there's a lot of different thought processes to what's going on with inflation right now. Um, specifically for the auto industry. One thing is certain, those who bought vehicles at low rates after the pandemic aren't likely to sell or trade now. It's a math problem at this point. Uh, it's very hard to talk to somebody that got approved at a 2% interest rate on a vehicle that was eight grand cheaper two, three years ago and have any type of chance to sell them something with a 7% interest rate on a vehicle that's now eight grand more expensive. So what breaks this trend? Perhaps it's customers waiting for prices to fall. Hannah says the supply of new vehicles is starting to return to normal. And I think they can expect to um, come to fuller lots where we have more options, new car wise to choose from. And that'll maybe push them harder to give us those trades. So then we'll have the trades as used cars that we can resell to the public as well. But will those new rides still come with sticker shock? Robin says no, at least not forever. Is the current pricing on new vehicles where it's going to stay, no. Uh, eventually, manufacturers will overproduce. Um, they will have to put more incentives on there. Uh, you know, four or five years ago, we were seeing incentives as high as like $15,000 on some vehicles. So we'll probably start seeing that again before too long. And, and when we see that on the new side, then eventually you're going to start seeing the used side start drop as well. Demand also keeps prices high. Dealers I spoke to say mid-size SUVs and sedans are their most in-demand types of vehicles.